then we are going to look at something much more elaborate called hidden Markov models. Here we extend the concept of Markov models to include the case in which the observation is a probabilistic function of the state. That is, the resulting model is a doubly embedded stochastic process with an underlying stochastic process that is not directly observable, hidden, but can be observed only through another set of stochastic processes that produce the sequence of the observations. Basically, it's the uh, speech uh, processing in which what we normally see is the speech, the sound, but we can't see the state or the word the, at, at which, uh, uh, which state the words are. There are several uh, models that we define. So what we see is only the, uh, what we observe is only the speech, speech uh, signals. Let's see how we are going to apply that hidden Markov model for speech. Let's see how, what the theory of hidden Markov models and then we redefine the coin toss model in a little bit of different way. In this case we have a uh, assume that uh, you are in a room with a barrier example uh, a curtain through which you cannot see what is happening that is uh, we are in a room where there's a person behind the barrier and then who is tossing a coin. On the other side of the barrier is another person who is performing a coin tossing experiment using one or more coins. The person will tell you which coin he selects at any time. He will tell you only the result of each, each coin flip. Uh, thus a sequence of hidden coin tossing experiments is performed with the observation sequence consisting of a series of heads and tails and the following sequence can be observed. That is, the observation is something like that, but we don't know whether he tossed one coin, two coin, three coins, but he only tells that he got a head or a tail. So, in this particular case, we can uh, think of three models or more in this case. It can be a one coin model or two coin model or three coin model or more, more of them. So, since the number of coins tossed is unknown, so just what we know is that after tossing a coin, he will tell whether it's a head or tail. So let's uh, look at it as a one coin model. So that means we can uh, predict there is a head or a tail as two states. So when you, whenever he get a head, that means state one. Whenever he get a tail, it states two. So basically what you see here is a one coin model, which is an observable Marco model because whenever the person tells that he got a head we can obviously tell which state he is in because head is the state 1 tail is state 2 therefore it's called observable ma observable Markov model it's not hidden the states are observable so whenever you look at the observation we can tell what state the coin is whether it's in the state 1 or state 2 so here is a only one unknown that is the probability of coin toss it can be uh, it is a bias tossed bias uh, coin therefore p h is not equal to p tail so 1 minus p h is not half okay let's proceed further and look at a two coin model that means behind the curtain there are there is a person who is cos tossing two coins so in that in this particular case, we can assume that the state 1 is the coin 1, state 2 is the coin 2. And therefore, there are four unknowns here. That is A11, A22, 1 minus A11, 1 minus A22. So there are four probabilities that is unknown. That is the probability of tossing coin 1 and getting head, probability of tossing coin 1 getting tail, similarly for co coin 2. So what we get now from this particular model is that these are the outputs. So what happens is that the person tells you that he got a head, head, tail, tail, head, tail, whatever sequence, but you cannot predict the state because what he tells is he got a head. It can be coin 1, it can be coin 2. So therefore once you get heads, you can assume that okay, it may be state 2, it may be coin 2. Whenever he get he tells that he got one because he has the choice to select 
either coin 1 or coin 2. Basically, the, here the physical mechanism which accounts for how state transitions are selected could itself be a set of independent coin tosses or some other probabilistic event. That means the person can select coin 1 or coin 2. Before he select coin 1 or coin 2, he can toss another coin to find out which coin he wants to select. So it's another probabilistic ev event. That means he toss another coin. So if he get tail, okay, I will toss coin 2. And then he will tell the out uh, output of tossing coin 2. So next time he want to toss another coin, he, he toss a third coin and then see which one he wants to select. So like that, there is another probability uh, the second probabilistic behavior to select the states. So whatever you got here is a hidden Markov model. That means by looking at the observation you can't tell the state. It can be either coin 1, it can be coin 2. So that's why we have here it's not the same uh, number here. Head can be 2, head can be in state 1. Tail, same thing for tail. Okay, the things will be more complicated when you come for a three, 3 coin scenario. Again, we have lots of probabilities, about nine, uh, six probabilities that are unknown, actually nine probabilities that are unknown. So these nine probabilities can be calculated uh, uh, by observation. And also here we get a few uh, observations here. And again, uh, what you can see, it is a hidden Markov model. That means by observing, that means he has three coins behind the curtain and toss the coin and tell the output. So he get head, head, tail, tail, whatever. So this is coin 1, coin 2, coin 3, but we don't know which coin he has, he was tossing. So therefore head can be from coin 3, this head can be from coin 1. So the selection of the coin 3 or coin 1 depends on his arbitrary probabilities uh, given by another stochastic process. Okay. Let's now revisit the weather problem. Now suppose that you were locked in a room for several days and you were asked about the weather outside, which is similar to the coin tossing problem. That means in the coin tossing problem, we didn't know what is behind the curtain. What we know only the observation. Here similar thing happens, that is you are in a locked room, you don't know what is the weather outside. So you are you you might you need to need, uh, have some observation the observation in this particular case is the only piece of evidence you have is whether the person come who comes into the room carrying your daily meal is carrying an umbrella or not so person comes to give you a food if you are locked in the room so he brings an umbrella depending on the weather outside that's the observation so using that observation there can be a possible probabilities that is if it is sunny day is light highly unlikely he bring an umbrella so less probable but if it's a rainy day he brings an umbrella if it's a cloudy day he might bring an umbrella so depending on the day's weather outside he brings an umbrella so the probability of bringing an umbrella depends on the weather so now our question here is that we are going to model it in in a markup process and it's actually a hidden markup model so here we'll assume the assumption here that means the probability of observation given the model again same thing that we saw earlier uh, qt given qt minus 1 and now uh, we have to factor in the fact that the actual weather is hidden from you here we do not do that by using the base rule in this case we modify the base rule to accommodate for observations that is this is the observation that is basically normally we write base rule a probability of a given b equal to probability of b given a time probability of a divided by probability of b so in this case probability of a given b b are the observations so that means if i see an observation what is the probability of getting any of these states and then it can be modified by it, uh, this same thing can be calculated by using other values of the probability. This is probability of B given A times probability of A divided by probability of B. Okay, let's uh, continue further. Here, UI is the observation is true if your caretaker brought an umbrella on the I and false if the caretaker didn't. So that is there is 
an event u i uh, uh, depending on the observation umbrella if there's umbrella that means it's true if there is no umbrella it is false there's a half a probability of 0.5 the probability p the observation given the model again uh, we saw this one probability which is given by this uh, 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 equation here is the uh, same as the Markov model so the probability p u 1 u n is the probi prior probability of seeing a particular sequence of umbrella events true false true the probability u given q is actually observation given the model can be estimated as pi t equal to 1 to n p u t given q t if you assume that for all i given q y u i is independent of all u j and q j for all j is not equal to i these are two independent events that is uh, given q i and u i is independent that means the observation sequence is independent of the previous day's weather only it depends on the current today's weather 